Hi, I'm Nathan Veer, a Customer Engagement Manager here with Brightcove. The Brightcove Live module has a feature that will save you a ton of time by allowing you to reuse the previous event settings. It's called multiple broadcasts inside a single event. Now, first of all, if you've done any live streaming at all and you haven't tried the live module yet, you really need to. It makes live streaming way less nerve wracking, so much easier and downright enjoyable. If you are already a Brightcove customer, you'll have a couple of hours in your live module that allows you to play with it. Now, to this tip. It's going to be especially valuable to you if you are doing live events with multiple sessions. So something like a conference that has uh, morning, afternoon and evening sessions or breakout sessions, or uh, maybe it's a regular town hall meeting from your headquarters out to your remote employees or multiple locations. Basically anything with multiple sessions. When you set up your live event in the live module, you invest significant amount of time to make sure you get all the details just right. You select a player that you may have customized to match your brand. You make sure your encoding profile is configured just perfectly. And then you enter your stream URL and stream name into your encoding software or hardware to start your stream. If your event has multiple sessions, such as a conference, or it's a repeating event that happens every week with the same settings, you don't have to set it up new each time. You can simply click the New Broadcast button and it pulls in all of the metadata that you've already entered, which you can simply update and start streaming again. It now uses the same player, the same embed code, and all of the same encoding settings as your previous event. All you have to do is update your stream URL and your stream name in your encoding software or hardware, and you're good to go. You can repeat this as many times as you like. And that's it. So next time that you have a multi-session live event or something that repeats on a regular basis, don't waste your time setting up a new event. Simply create a new broadcast inside of the same event.